What's up, guys? Welcome back. Guess we continue on the Black River. We're gonna go this way this time. I forgot. What is this way? Not this way. This way will take me back over here, I want to say. So, yeah. But anyways, welcome back to Country Kick Gaming. We're playing some more Elden Ring, Shadow of the Earth Tree. Working with the correct a ton of plus skin. You know, we've been upgrading weapons as we go. We did just unlock unlimited stamina, which is pretty cool. Sure, I'll pick these rocks up. So is this blade has dragon grease automatically when it does its attack? I wonder uh, how much damage it does to a dragon since dragon grease is basically, you know, what hurts dragons. It has an anti-dragon effect. So I wonder if this is, does it just do automatically uh, increase damage to dragons even without using the weapon art, you know what I mean? Or the Ash of War on the weapon. That's what it kind of alluding to. So blade basically has dragon grease in it. So See how long this stamina lasts. Okay, so it doesn't last long at all. I don't know how useful that would be. I know about the infinite FP, why that would be useful, but... The infinite stamina is more... I guess if you're fighting a boss, and it's like the second phase, Tech does have some good poise. And you can do it real quickly if you don't want to charge it. Is that a is that the advanced version? No, this is Vengeful Spirits of Ramla Caster. Okay, so it's like this form of it. Now 
Can you not have him at the same time? No, you can. No, you can't. Okay. That makes sense. I'm, I wonder how strong it is, though. No. It ain't worth it. It's cool, though. If they make a great katana that can do uh, unsheath, that'd be pretty nasty. But I don't think unsheath is a uh, unless they updated it. I don't think it'll work on a great katana. Piercing vein. Yeah, it just says katana. But if they have one that just has one on there, Jesus, the poise damage. Oh, let me get rid of this other talisman I got on too. But that'd be a nasty move, man. Can you imagine a Gregaton and you just do Sun Sheep? If they had a, like a Crag Blade Unsheath, that would be the most devastating attack ever. But I guess what you could use is a Savage Lion Claw. If it's usable on Gregatonas. I duplicated it, so I should just have one. Available to look at. After these guys leave me alone. Hey, don't be hitting Torque. It's one thing to hit me. Uh, small armaments in. No, usable on swords, axes, and hammers. Small armaments and thirsting swords. Accepted. Swords, axes, and hammers. So it should just work, because it doesn't say small swords. It says small ones accepted. So it may be possible to put on a Grey Katana. One of the basic ones. So far, I haven't found any more small pot ones. Let me get three of these. 
I'm making a lot of those. This is a daily poison, but... Uh, I need more trainers, lilies. Do some sleep pots. Gotta be pretty useful. For my small pot. Let's take these off. I just have to get some more. Hey, I got one. Let's go ahead and put these right here. Less is better. Least is better, I guess you could say. No, less is better is actually the better phrase, isn't it? Inside this, I'm inside of something behind a waterfall over here. Looks like that'll take me that way. First, let's go this way. This is also something. So there are clay. Okay. So rhythm mouth cave. That is on my question. They're just gonna be caves, but some of them might have specific names. Only this worked on me. I don't think it works. Oh, it does work. <laughs> nice to have a healing spell. So it works in the vicinity or close to anybody. It doesn't heal uh, Ashes of War that good though.
Shadow Realm Rune. Like, I don't got no body remembrances or anything. No. Jesus. Are you serious? Are you serious? There ain't no way. Almost one shot of these. These things are ugly. I just looked at their faces for the first time. Anyone join the party? If I didn't have a powerful build, that would have been crazy. <laughs> uh, delete this one. Let's see if... Uh... Yeah, I can put those two together. Let's make a pretty good clip. That is crazy, man. You wouldn't think that all these people would just be in here like that. And this is the one I need for this one? No, that's the red lightning. Um, this one, the big bleed one. I think that the big bleed pot will probably cause instant bleed for most enemies. Okay, so boost his physical attack and arcane once. Attack power boosted further when blood loss occurs. That's disgusting for bleed builds? Oh, yeah. Definitely going to save the sacred bloody flesh because from the formless mother. That's a nasty. Use that plus the bleed katana in Sepical. That's a nasty build, man. That is a nasty build. I can already see it coming. If you can do that uh, on a gray katana. <laughs> and I just know this causes blood loss too as well. I didn't even I, I said that before, but I didn't even think about it. 
those oh that's a nasty build man like uh using this plus that plus that let's see if uh Crazy attacks. I don't know what that was, but I might stick up under his body. She blood, man. He might be immune to bleed. Just in case he bleeds me, that's why I put the talisman on. Yeah, like, I'm stuck up under his body. Like, when I try to jump to get out of it or roll, I'm like stuck on his stomach. It's crazy. I don't know if he'll if he'll bleed me though. It doesn't look like other than that bleed miss, his weapon does bleeds. It didn't look like that, so kind of forgot I still had that stamina on. I should have probably took that off. This weapon is not that good if I have it. See how much damage that would do. Hope for the win. Bluffing Hexer Ashes. Ashes remain with spirits yet to dwell. Use the summon the spirit of Bluffing Hexer. Summons consumes FP, HP rather than FP. This blood comes with blown ritual to take the spirits. This might be the one of the best spirits since it was like a, an actual tough boss. I mean, this was a tough boss too, but this just seemed like it may be a nasty spirit. Plus it gave me them uh, one items. So we'll just have to see.
Let's go ahead and buff him up. I wonder if he's gonna be the same size as that boss was. But this is a hexer, so he's not using the same weapon. I... Let me go upgrade him. Let me upgrade you. Cause the only thing that does that is the mimic that uses HP, and the mimic is OP. Did I not have all of those? Do I need to go get another one? I thought I had collected all of those. I... He uses Grave Ghosts, so it may not be as good as I thought it was. Because these are the better versions, so hmm. I don't know, we'll have to see. Never know. There are some that are pretty good that are the lower class, but I don't know. It's kind of disappointing that it's a uh, that one. We we'll just have to wait and see. You know what I mean? Hopefully, it won't be disappointing. But I did get those items that help with blood. So at least we know there's, there's items that increase the blood power even more. Another one. Some more pots. Yes, sir. Mushroom and red push mushroom. Definitely gonna have to look out more for those. I know I probably didn't, didn't miss those. Try this out real quick. A thousand. Okay. Those things drain your stamina. Twelve. Mmm, the bleed. And the other one. I mean, pretty nasty weapon. Two headed. Oh. That's definitely greatly raises stamina recovery. I think they might be even worth more than the bleed, to be honest. Let's see. 
Oh, I can't tell now because there's no enemies around. Okay, so I can't do this yet. Get on Elisa here. Okay, let's test it out. First without it. another place to test it without it. Let's go down here. It might be time to go to the poison area because it looks like there was a dead end both ways. Well the other way left me to another biome. We don't want to do that one yet. A Cerulean coast. Or do I want to do that one first? Before doing the poison. Because the poison's gonna take me this way. I might as well do the Serenian Coast because it looks like that's a smaller area. But before that... Let me... What's it? test out this charm and see how good it is. All my stamina's gone. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. All my stamina's gone. One, two, three, four, five, six. One. Pretty fast. I think I'll keep that one on. Okay. So yeah, let's go to the coast. <coughs> Some beautiful area. I have never seen an area this beautiful in a game. Jesus. Okay, uh, we don't have a map here. Maybe I should actually wait. I think I should get this map first. Uh, before I did this area. Because I want to see what the map looks like. Okay, so, to go to the poison area. So, yeah, let's go get the map first. We'll do this. It's going to have to have its own episode. The Slurian Coast. At least the beginning part. Because... <laughs> Uh, no, nah, I need to see the beautiful map what it's gonna look like because I know the maps gonna look beautiful as well I like the way this map looks. You know what I'm saying? Like the different biomes you can see and stuff like that. I wonder if this will take me up here which would then take me to um, another Looks like some more of these ruins, but actually these look different than the ruins because it's like pink right here But these look like this is more of the ruins that we went to I guess we'll find out. So yeah, let's let's go to the swamp area first. It's alright. We'll just deal with it. Um back this way. I plan to spend at least a hundred hours in the DLC.
I wish they had dropped that weapon as a flail. You know what I mean? That outfit might look pretty sick though. To get the full outfit, the shadow. Uh. Nah, we'll wait. If it drops, it drops. I can just farm it whenever. Actually, it's not. Do I have a? Oops, I didn't mean to do that. Thank God, dude. I can just try to get it because I'm right here. I'm not gonna rest to try to get it again, but. If I manage to get it, I manage to get it. If not, I don't. Those are just creatures. Doesn't look like this. Oh, there goes one. I was looking for this toxic monster. Thing. It doesn't look like there's no more shadow men. It's kind of a waste. Kind of a bummer. I knew I was gonna die as soon as I fell off. Uh, <laughs> I was like, maybe I can make it back up, but that's my fault. I didn't mean to do a screenshot like the last couple times. I'll just keep this on just in case I can get it from Shadowman. There's a lot more by that, uh, that one jail. Was it a jail? I can't remember what it was. But I know where it is. But hopefully they'll drop their weapon. I mean, the. Hopefully they added the weapon as a DLC weapon, the one that's like a. A sickle in a, a flail form. Probably not though, but it is what it is. I forgot what it's called. But it's the one that's on a chain. I got most of their outfit. Got the helm. Ah, it's glow in the dark. I already had the... Dang, where is the... Did I put it back in storage or did I sell it by accident? Dang, I hope I didn't sell it by accident. Don't have no boys though. Gotta wait till I get the whole thing. I think I might have sold it by accident. The um the gloves. Cause I should have everything but the chest piece.
should be a poison one. Either a hefty poison pot or a hefty daily poison pot, something like that. I'm not gonna worry about these little enemies. I used to kill everything at least once in an area, but some minis ain't really worth my time. This is the area we saw before. The Seal Spring. I never mind. I think that the item that the map is actually in that dragon area that we found. This right here. Dang, I might have to do the dragon area next to be able to actually get a map. Let's go to here. Should be a quick way to get down now that we got that. But yeah, I may have to go to the dragon area to be able to get the map. And then come back, because I don't see another map. Oh, I just killed myself. Oh, no, I didn't. Okay. That was a lot closer than I thought. Talisman of the Dread raises potency of magma. Hmm. If you're using a dragon build and using magma weapons, very, very late to race. I wonder what type of dragon boss is going to be up there. Yeah, if you're using magma weapons, um, I wonder if they do a new one in DLC. There's, there's a couple uh, in the base game, but I would say if you're doing use a dragon incantation in a magma weapon, hopefully they add a new one. You know, hopefully there's one in the DLC, but we'll see. I do plan to find everything. Three of these now. After killing that dragon. Or oh, that magma worm. Well, this guy gonna drop me some rune arts. Go away.
Did I already find this item? No, I haven't been here. Is this one of those gotta come back at night? Let's get rid of that. So maybe you have to come back at night, one of those. We came down the middle one, right? Yeah, because this is what happened before. I came down here and I marked this. So, there's nothing really here to this area. Other than what we got over there. It doesn't appear to be nothing hidden. This is a cave or something I miss. Doesn't appear to be. Just that shack. Yeah, so it doesn't appear like we can actually go anywhere right here. It appears like we do have to do this. Ooh. Yeah, because I want to save this Lurillian Coast for when we have the map. So let's go ahead and just, we'll go ahead and get the map. It'll be all right. I remember in Charlie there was a poison swamp with a castle, but they may be over here or over here or something. Now there was this loud noise we heard. Let's just start the episode over, actually. Because it's probably going to take a while. And I'm not rushing, so there ain't no point to try to jam it in this episode. I'm going to see you guys in the next episode. As always, thank you for coming to Elden Ring Shadow of the Earth Tree as we continue on with our playthrough.